گره بینیم
Good evening, people. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, okay, let's see. Check how are you doing with unit four? Okay, okay. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. It is time. I'm going to start with the with the first at uh, first attendance of the night. Please, cameras, and respond. Alba Janet Jimenez. Not here yet. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Teacher. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Carlos, not yet. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Enrique de Nilsson Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. 
Fanny, Judith, Palacios. Present teacher. Good. Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. José Abel Izaguirre. José Miguel Maza. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Okay. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Lisset Gómez. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Okay. Good evening. And Henry Alberto Pérez. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Okay, Wilbur. And check. Okay, Alba Janet, Carlos Ernesto, Consuelo Saraí, Jennifer Lisset, Jose Abel. Pedro Alexander, Wendy Lisset, not yet. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Here, uh -oh Give me a second. Okay, I want to show you this just to warm up and refresh the vocabulary we studied yesterday and maybe some new stuff. Let me show you this. Look, let's go to study mode. We're talking also always about hotel vocabulary. See, hotel vocabulary. Oh, many things. Okay, how do you call this place or what? Wh what is this? What is this? What do you think? Look at the picture. What is this in a hotel? Lobby. Lobby? 
Reception. Reception. Mm, look, look at the picture. Of the bar. Restaurant. I get, I guess. Oh, what? It's a lobby bar. Ah, estaban cerca, miren. Lobby bar o lunch bar. Ah. Los vasitos cortos no se pierden en ningún lado. <laughs> okay. It's a bar, but wait, people. Interesting. I have no idea what is this. Let's check. Oh, look. Sun bed or sun lounger. Oh, interesting. You see? Sun bed. Sun lounger. Okay. Did you know? Okay, what is this? This box. What is this? Air conditioner. Air conditioner, yes. AC or air conditioner. What is this? Swimming pool. Okay, yes. What is this? Lift. Or elevator. Uh -huh. Yes. What is this? Interesting. Key card. A key card. ¿No? Ya no le dan una llave normal, sino una key card. Oh, what bed type is this? ¿Qué tipo de cama es esta? Double bed. Double, yes. Double bed. A double bed. What is this? Oh. Oh. Um. Hotel spa. Oh, I need a massage. And this room? What what type of room is this? Huh? Twin. Ah, twin. Room, o oh, ayer lo mencionábamos como un double, double room. Hey, who is he? Novel boy. Mm. No. Ah, no. <laughs> sí, porque este está en la puerta. Doorman or okay. porter. Mm -hmm. Ah, ¿qué está haciendo? ¿Cómo se llama esta acción? Signature. Ajá, eso es, así se llama esto. La acción. Registry. Uh, no, to sign. Sign. Firmar. Or put the signature, la firma, to sign or put the signature. Oh, this place. Yes, reception. Uh, creo que le dan otro nombre específicamente a este, pero vamos a ver. No, está bien. Y otros lo llaman front desk. Front desk. Well, see, it's not reception. Okay. 
Who is he? Receptionist. Okay. Yeah. Aquí está mal escrito. Recept. Ah, who is she? Mm, pretty, pretty maid. Ah, oh, esta es otra palabra también usada para housekeeper. Eh, más británica. Housekeeper, pero sí es maid. Sobre todo en los Estados Unidos. Ok. Ah, aquí está lo que mencionaban. What are they doing? ¿Cómo le dicen al, cuando uno se registra? Check in or checking in. They are checking in. Dándose, ¿no? El ingreso. Check. La acción se llama check in. How do you call the place where you can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner in the hotel? Wow, it's beautiful. Uh -huh. <laughs> Restaurant. In esta. Restaurant. And finally. You can call to have breakfast in bed. ¿Cómo se llama cuando pide que le lleven la comida a la cama? Service room. Al revés. Room service. service. Uh -huh. Room service. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. We do this. Perfect. Perfect. Good evening. Good evening, Jennifer. Welcome. Okay. Today we're going to start with unit oh, lesson two. Lesson two. Always talking about travel plans. Travel plans. Así es que chicos tienen que vivir programarse un viaje para que practiquen esto. In a, and to a, an English spoken place. An English speaking place. Okay. <clears throat> At the end of this lesson, you will be able to make a hotel reservation and request related services. So today you are going to learn to make a hotel reservation and request service. Request related services. That is tonight's object. Okay. Do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? Imagine that you are going to travel. What kind of hotel would you prefer? A modern hotel with a lot of technology or an antique hotel? with a lot of uh, antique furniture, a lot of, uh, I don't know, luxury details or what? what, imagine, imagine that you are going to travel and you are going to stay in a hotel. What would you prefer? Modern hotel, a modern hotel, or an antique hotel? 
please write in the chat your option a modern hotel or an antique hotel but i want you to write and um and give me one reason i will give you time okay what type of hotel would you prefer a modern hotel and tell me one reason why would you would prefer a modern hotel or an antique hotel antique is the opposite of modern okay and if you prefer an antique hotel give me the reason one reason why you prefer an antique hotel. Okay, I will give you five minutes to think about it. What would you prefer? A modern hotel or an antique hotel? Antique doesn't mean old doesn't mean old or cheap no not necessarily let me write my choice I would or I am uh, I would prefer Okay. You see, there are some comments already. Okay, interesting. This is my choice. Mom, people, 
I only have one, two, three, four. I need your opinion. Modern or antique and why? Interesting. Okay. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Hurry up, hurry up. One minute. Hurry up, please. Finish. Write your opinion. What is best? Is better for you, modern or antique? Okay, let's start, please. Herman, can you read your your comment? Okay. Uh, I will prefer anti kit hotel when I need disconnect for the world. <coughs> and I wanna feel relaxed and I know. And I know new culture about infrastructure. <coughs> that is your second. And what about the first comment? Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, can, you, can you repeat again? Yes, to write two comments. Two answers. Uh, Eh, yo, yo, yo anoté dos, uno de para preferencia de hotel moderno y también de, okay. de hotel antiguo. En el moderno, I would prefer modern hotel because I need use technology. Por ejemplo, yeah. internet, smart TV, or modern technology in the bedroom. Yeah, se me por okay, but the question is, you are going to travel. Or what hotel would you prefer, modern or antique? A yeah, modern. Modern. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, good. William, what about you? Can you read, please? Modern hotel because I like the avant garde. Avant garde. Oh. Okay. Good. Wilbur, your turn. Uh, I would like an antique hotel because I uh, like all things like campfires. Ah, okay. Good. 
The next is me. Well, I would prefer an antique hotel because they are more beautiful and more quiet. Yeah. Raul, read your choice, please. Your answer. Raul. Hello, there. teacher. Okay, read your answer, please. Okay. I will prefer antique hotel because I can enjoy something in nature with my family because they forget the internet and prefer to join together. Yeah, that's good. Interesting. Okay. Now, uh, Jennifer, you read yours, please. I like an old hotel. It's very traditional. It's a small pictory and it's like being at home. Ah, okay. Henry, your turn. Depends. Depends. Uh, for, a, for a beach, I prefer, I will prefer an uh, antique hotel. It's more relaxed. Okay. Magdiel? Hello. Hello. I, I I prefer I prefer a mother hotel because this does easy the anything. For example, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the good TV, mm -hmm. the internet, and I usually make my reservations. Ah, okay. Yes. Blanca. I would prefer a modern hotel because it has all things that you need. Okay. For example, Wi-Fi, uh -huh. air conditioner, and some things that in a modern hotel could be. Okay. Um, who's next, Andrea. Okay. I prefer an antique hotel because for the family atmosphere and more it's if it has access for walk in the woods in front of lake or the beach. Okay. Hey, Jose. I prefer the mother hotel because I like the access to the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Wendy, Wendy Maricela. Wendy Maricela. Okay. Having difficulties. Funny? Um, family room hotel. Um, uh -huh. Life outfit. Woo. Who's speaking? Share. Oh, okay. See, see, see. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. good. Okay. Funny? I prefer mother, mother hotel uh, because they have a, a vida technology service, comfort, uh, air, air conditioner, uh, Etc. 
Ah, ok. Ok, good. Profe, lo tengo acá, pero no lo escribí, pero sí lo puedo leer. Sure, sure. Uh, es corto. O sea, I prefer beach hotels which are I are conditional and are exclusive. I like boots, everything online. Ah, ok. Ok, yes. Uh, very good. Different. Depending on the situation as also, ok? So, maybe for a business trip, it's better a modern hotel with a lot of technology. You can do your work from the hotel, so it's good. But sometimes uh, to relax, maybe some somebody would, would prefer a antique hotel. Uh, depends on the situation. Okay, but you're right. Nice, nice comments, good answers, people. Okay. Anyone else? Or just one of those? Let's continue then. We have a short conversation here. Uh, it's a phone call to a hotel. A phone call to a hotel. So let me read the conversation and record it here in WhatsApp. So you can practice whenever you want. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, there it is. One more time, listen. Uh, Okay, Jose. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Very good. Let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Hello, I need to make a reservation. Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Sure. sure. May I sure. Have, your May name, please? have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Of course. Uh, Gerardo Gomez. Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? Thank you, Mr. Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. I'm going to, I'm to arrive on Friday 14th. 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? 
How are you going are to you take going the to house, Mr. Gomez? Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. I'm, I'm going to stay, I'm going until, to Monday. stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. A single, a single room, room, please. Room, please. Okay. Now I am Jen and you are Gerardo. Okay. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. Hello. I need, I need make a reservation. Uh, make reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Oh, of course. course. I'm, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay until, until Monday. Monday. Ah. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Single room, please. A single room, please. Okay. Now you are Jen and I am Gerardo. You begin. One, two, three. Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jim. How can I help you? How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Hello. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Gomez. Mr. Gomez. Well, when are you going, going to, to arrive? arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long, How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay. Okay. Um, now, um, I will give you time to practice the conversation in pairs. And also, I want you to complete the, uh, the information in this uh, form. And this is a form, a reservation, a reservation form. Complete the information. Agent, guest, check in, check out, single room, double room. Okay, so I'll send you to work in pairs, practice the conversation, and complete exercise three, complete the reservation form. Let's see, we are going to form. Uh, En un minuto tengo que arreglar los grupos por los que están solo oyentes. Oh. 
Yo creo que sí. Mm. Cara alguno de tres. Okay. Go to your groups, practice the conversation and complete exercise three, please. See you in 10 minutes, more or less. Si Chero nos puede ayudar a habilitar para compartir. Ok, ready. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, teacher. No sé si Karina está como oyente también. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I was on mute. Okay. No sé si Karina está como oyente también. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to send you to another group. Okay. Oh, here. Okay. Oye, al revés, es Jen, yo Gerardo. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need you to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez?
Okay, very good. Uh, it is time for the second attendance. So let me take it. And after that, we are going to continue. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Okay. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Not today. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Not today. Erika Danielson Escobar. On for the internet. Uh, Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Okay. Herman Enrique Gonzalez. Present teacher. Oh, Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good. Uh, Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here present teacher. Good. Jose Miguel Maza. You present teacher. Good. Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. Present. Okay. Magdiel Saúl García. Present. Okay. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Good. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Lisette Gómez. Wendy Lisette Gómez. Is she here? No. Okay. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Okay. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Okay. And Henry Alberto Pérez. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, let's check first the form. The check um, reservation form actually. What is the agent's name? Jane. Jane. Jen, is that correct? What is the guest name? Gerardo Gomez. What? Gerardo Gomez. Mr. Gerardo. Mr. Gerardo Gomez. Gomez. Okay. Ahí están adentro. When is when is he checking in? Friday fourteen. Friday fourteen. When is he checking out? Monday. 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 What? Uh, 17. 17. Okay. Uh, is he going to use a double or a single room? Single room. Single room. Okay, very good.
Now, let's see. I'd like to hear some of you, maybe not all of you, but some of you reading the conversation. Let me start with... Okay, what about uh, Andrea and Blanca? Can you read the conversation, please? Okay. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, very good. Now, please. Eric, Jose, and Wilbur. Hey. Okay. I start. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Perfect, thank you. Now let's continue with Jennifer and Magdiel. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel, the East Gen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, okay. Now I would like to hear... Um... Fanny and Henry, please. I start Hello. Funny. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jim. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you. Mr. Gomez, when are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a, sing a single or a double room? A single room, please. Thanks, teacher. Hey, very good. And now let's see. Herman and William. 
Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How, I, how can I help you? Okay. Who's not responding? No. William. Yes. Who uh, comes? Okay. Uh, I I I I start again. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sir, may I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. Uh, when are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on fr Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or for, or for a double room? A single room, please. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, people, let's see. Very good. I only heard some... Some problem with this word. Yeah. How long are you going to stay with us? With us. How long are you going to stay with us? That is the pronunciation of this short word. Okay. Us. Then the rest, very good. Very good. I don't know if you have any question with the conversation. No questions? Now we have this information here. Um, The use of would like, okay? We use good like for a very polite request. Need and want are also possible, but they are less polite, okay? So in order to be polite, Mm. Yes, let's. The idea is to be polite. Okay. Want, need, and would like es lo más bonito, lo más polite. Okay. It's okay if you say, I want to make a reservation. No problem. I need to make a reservation. It is clear. But it's nicer. Es más bonito, es más refinado, más educado. I would like to make a reservation. Okay. Any question with these people? No. Now, let's study the use of be going to. The use of be going to. Let's take a look to this sentence. Okay, we have affirmative sentences. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. I'm going to stay until Monday. 
Miss Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Then we have negative sentences. Miss Puentes is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday's third. Okay. Now respond this. So we are going to use be going to plus the verb in the base form. Be going to plus the verb in the base form to describe scheduled activities. To describe scheduled activities and activities that will definitely happen in the future. Okay. For negative sentences, insert not before going to, before going to. Any question with the affirmative and negative sentences? Any question with this part? No? Okay, let's practice the examples. Repeat, please. After, repeat after me, please. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. I'm going to arrive on Friday, on Friday 14th. I'm going to stay until Monday. I'm going to stay until Monday. Miss Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Miss Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Now the negative sentences. Miss Puentes is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. Miss Puentes is not, Puente not going is not to, fly to fly to Cuba, to Cuba on, on the 14th. The 14th. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday 13th. Mr. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday. Thursday. 13. 13. Okay. So if you observe, we use RB and going to. RB and going to. RB and going to. Right? And then the verb in the base form. Arrive, stay. The main verb is in the base form. In negative sentences, okay, we use is not going to. is not going to and the verb also in the base form fly arrive so we are talking about future plans or activities already scheduled Activities that definitely are going to happen. So 
it's a plan and it's going to happen. Then remember the questions, the yes, no questions. Look at the examples. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? What is the first thing in a yes, no questions, people? What is the first thing? What is first in yes, no question? The verb be. The verb be. R. R. Okay. Then, what is next? What comes after verb be? The subject. Subject. You. In this case, is you. Next, going to, going to, and finally, the, the verb, in what form? Mass form. Base form. Base form. Perfect. Okay. Now look at the information questions. Let's take a look to information questions. Examples. How long are you going to stay? When are you going to arrive? Hmm. What is first in yes, no questions? In, I mean, in information questions. What is first? Hello? What is this? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Yes, pero ¿Qué son esas? Doble question. Ajá. W H words. W H words or W H uh, phrase. Son la palabra o la frase de pregunta WH word or WH phrase. Tú lo primero. What, when, where, how much, how many, what time, how long, who. Tú lo primero en information questions. Olvida. Next. What is next? What is next, people? What comes H. after the, the question word? Verb to be. To be. Verb be. Verb. Correct. Next. Subject. Correct. The subject. Next. Going to. Going to, and finally, Back. the verb in the base form. So that is Dr. Please, microphones off. Uh, that is the structure for information questions, okay?
You see, to ask yes, no questions about schedule activities, begin with yes, no questions. Verb B, the subject, going to verb. And for information questions, just place the WH word at the beginning of the question. Uh, the WH word and continue like you would do for a yes, no question. So if you observe, this part is exactly a yes, no question. It's like a yes, no question. Are you going to stay? You see, it's the same thing here. Are you going to stay? O sea que lo único que hicimos fue agregarle the question word. Are you going to arrive? Pero le agregamos question word y ya es una information. Okay, people, any question with this? Just to remember the if affirmative sentences, negative sentences, yes, no questions, and information questions with be going to. Esto es el be going to. <clears throat> I am going to, you are going to, he is going to, we are going to, they are going to, etc. Okay, now let's work on this exercise. Exercise five. Order the words to create sentences and questions about scheduled activities. So you have to put the words in order, that's all. Now, when are you going to arrive to Dallas? Okay. Uh, so please take your time. I will send you to working groups to complete that exercise together, okay? Let me recreate the groups to make. Perfect. Okay, join your groups, please, and, and complete that exercise. I'll uh, see you in 10 minutes.
Lo siento, se fue la luz, pero ya estoy de regreso, profe. Ok, ok. We are working in groups. You want me to send you to a group? Sí, ok, ok. Perfect. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, eso es lo mismo que me metiera a un grupo. Me dijo.
Salimos a la hora de almuerzo y no tengo nada de comer. No, hombre, le dije. Antes anda a buscar sándwich que me dice, le dije. Y a la vuelta me sigo a comprar. Ah, pues, se quedó huevado porque tengo razón. Después de que la ingresó, le dije. The Hello teacher, ya las completamos. Ok, ok, perfect. Y you. Si sí, es correcto. Miss Díaz. Going to. Going to unknown.
Okay, let's check. Sentence number two, please. Let's see. Okay, I want you to write sentence number two in the chat, please. Write sentence number two in the chat. I want to see your answers. Come on, people. To the question, well. Question. Uh-huh. Fisher. Yeah. You are going to make a reservation for the conference room. No sé si estará bien. Uh well uh, if an for an affirmative sentence, yes. But for a question, the order is different, remember? And I think this is, let's make it a question, okay? So we start with B, R. Is it here? Let's make it as a question. Are you going to make a reservation? Eh, no tenemos claro, ¿verdad? El ejercicio no es claro si es pregunta o es, o es una oración. Lo voy a dejar como pregunta, no, los que lo hicieron como oración. Si ese fue el propósito, bien. Si le pusieron you are going para hacerle una oración afirmativa. Porque si es pregunta, recuerde que el orden es are you. Ahí dejémoslo como pregunta en esta vez. Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Okay. Number three. Write sentence number three, please. Sentence three. Is not a question, it's affirmative. Sentence three, write sentence three, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, the answer is I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m.
Now, question four, please. Come on, people, question four, or sentence four. Okay, let me write it here. Miss Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. <clears throat> Number five, please. Number five, write it, please. Okay. Sí. Okay, maintenance team is going to attend a conference. And finally, number six. Right, number six, please. Okay, Ms. Diaz is going to need a non-smoking room. Okay, let's practice these sentences quickly, please. Okay. 
One, when are you going to arrive to Dallas? Repeat, please. When are you going to arrive, are you, are you going going to, arrive to Dallas? Two, are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Three, I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. I am I'm going to request a makeup for 5 a.m. Four. Miss Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Miss Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Five. The maintenance team is going to attend a conference on October 10th. The main next thing is going to attend a conference on October 10th. Six. Ms. Diaz is going to need a non smoking room. Ms. Diaz is going to need a non smoking room. Okay, people. That's it. Oh. Tomorrow we're going to continue with a little, a little bit <laughs> on this to practice a little bit more. Okay. Let me take the last hand and talk the evening. Oh, please, ready to respond. <laughs> okay, uh, the student who, well, I mean, the, the 10 minutes at the end of the class are available if you need, if anyone wants to stay, just let me know. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present picture. Okay, hey, Alba, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Andrea Bye -bye. Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you for attending. Good night. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Perez, didn't show up today. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Neither Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Internet problems. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Good night. Okay. Good night. Herman Enrique Gonzalez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Good night. Okay. Good night. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here present, teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Jose Miguel Massa. Your present, teacher. Good night. Thank you good for night. class. You're welcome. Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. Present. Good night. Okay, good night. Yes. Magdele Saúl Garcia. Goodbye. Magdile Saúl. Present. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Eh, Pedro Alexander Osorto. Eh, Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Uh, Wendy Lizette Gómez. Didn't show up. Wendy Maricela Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Uh, William Alexander Paniagua. Present, good night. Good night. Blanca Alejandra Portillo.
Present. Good night. Okay. Good night. And Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.